Okay, so this guide shows you a quick and easy way of recording your passwords. Now, it may sound very, very simple, but unfortunately, uh, uh, it's not obvious to some people, this. So, first thing you need is a book. The book must have at least 26 pages in it, more if possible. Um, a pencil, that's the next thing you must have. A pencil, not a pen, a pencil and an eraser or a rubber as we call it here in the UK. So those are three things that you uh, you need to get started. Okay, so first of all what we do is we open the book and at the top of each page of the book we write a, a letter of the alphabet. So we start with A and then we turn the page. Now we write B on the next page or if we think we're going to record lots of different passwords then we could skip a page and write B on the page after and we keep going until we've got to the letter Z or Z if you're American in the alphabet. So these letters are going to be the pages to represent the pages that we record our passwords on uh, according to the website name. So for instance if I was recording the password for Amazon I would put it on the page that's titled A. Uh, as an example if I was going to put uh, my password for Amazon first of all I would actually write and the book Amazon and then on the next line I'd write the letter U and then two dots and I would write my username now your username is normally your email address it's very important to write this because if you ever change your email address then you'll know what your account was actually registered with so my email address just for example is email at address dot co dot uk okay and then on the next line i would put a p and then two dots and i can write my password here now if you want to be secure if you do use the same password for a lot of sites or variations of a password then what you could do for security is you could write down just certain letters of the password and you could do it hangman style. So say for instance, if my password that I normally use is password one, two, three, four, what I could do is I could write in the P and then put an underscore for the A, an underscore for the first S, an underscore for the second S, and perhaps write W, and then an underscore for the O, an underscore for the I, and then write in the D, and then perhaps write the number one, and then write an underscore for two, an underscore for three, and write in number four. So I've only written certain characters of the password, and the idea behind this is if anyone finds this book, then quite possibly and quite honestly, it will mean nothing to them. The other thing you could do is you could write in a hint to the password, like you could say, if it was a, a pet's name, you know, you could write, for instance, uh, my first pet with one, two, three, four on the end or, you know, something, something like that. Something that will just jog your memory for the password. Um, but if you write in pencil, and like I say, if you ever change your email address and I've had quite a few people say to me that I'll never change my email address. I'm going to stick with this email address for life. And earlier on this year, unfortunately, an Internet provider closed their mail server and everyone who was on that mail server was forced to change their password. They weren't allowed to keep it because the mail server closed. Um, and, and, and some websites might, out of precaution, get you to change your password. And when you change your password, they might ask you to change it to something completely different to, uh, to what you've used previously. So this is where the, the rubber or the eraser comes in handy, because it does mean you can erase or rub the password out if ever it changes. Or if ever you change your email address, you can and, and you update it on the website, you can rub that out too or erase it and write in your new email address and password, thus keeping the book up to date. I know it may sound very, very basic, um, but I've been to so many people recently that have perhaps written their password on a scrap of paper. They've had to change their password and then they've written it again further down the book. And it's really been a guessing game to which password is the correct one. At least if you've, if you've got a pencil and you write it in order, 
you stand a better and much easier chance of, of finding your passwords when you need them. Um, like I say, I know this guide is very basic and thank you for listening and I hope it helps you.